Hey, it's another great day in Orange County, California. I'm on the third hole of our south golf course. This plant up here kind of looks like a fern, maybe a wild carrot, some type of parsley or parsnip. Well, it's not. This is poison hemlock, conium maculatum. He's a real poisonous plant. You eat like six of these leaves here, it'll kill you. Like the Greeks killed Socrates way back when. So you identify it by these fern-like leaves. All right, rounded flowers. It doesn't have any flowers yet, so they grow in two-year cycles. The first year, they send out these shoots, little rosette hanging out. In the second year, they actually flower and seed. So tell us apart from a lot of other plants, come down here. Look at the stems. The stems here, they have purple blotches or spots up and down here. Wow, another way, I forgot my gloves. I'm gonna use this. It's got hollow stems. See that hollow stem right there? It's hollow. A lot of other plants that look like this have solid stems. This one's hollow. It's got these purple splotches all around him. This whole area, all full of that poison hemlock. We'll take a look at some flowering plants on another hole. So along the fairway, out in the weeds and the brush here, see these flowering plants right up there? That's our poison hemlock growing in. Holy smokes. So here we're on the fourth hole of our south golf course. Down here in this ravine, all this here is our poison hemlock. My goodness. Right here, we'll take a closer look. So it has these flowers here. These guys are two years old. So they're starting to flower, come up. You have this umbel up here. And it's rounded. See how it's rounded like this? A lot of the other kind of carrot plants, they're all flattened, the umbel. So this one's a rounded umbel. Way up close, you have a cluster of flowers. Each flower has five petals. Help identify them. So we'll post guy up right here. Hopefully I'll get the tap root. A little tough. There we go. Big, big tap root. That's how you remove this guy from your garden. He goes uh, about 10 feet tall all the way down to the super deep tap root. All the way down there. That's pretty long. At the top, of course, we have our little umbel of flowers, okay? Our leaves look like little fern or carrot leaves. Purple splotches on the stem. You notice the stems are hairless, all right? No hairs. So our wild carrot has hairs. So this guy's uh, definitely identified as our poison hemlock all the way down. Also, always make sure, uh, see the hollow here, hollow stems? Make sure it's a uh, hemlock as well. Anyway, so it is poisonous. And uh, it's a central nervous system depressant. If you have sensitive skin, it'll give you contact dermatitis or rashes, if you have asthma, try to chop this down with your lawnmower, you might inhale Little particles that affect your lungs. Okay, take six leaves to kill you. Starts with numbness and paralysis of your feet, then you get seizures, works up your body to your vital organs and your lungs, you get acute renal failure, respiratory failure, and then you die. So this plant looks like two other plants that are really edible. In your forage out there, you gotta make sure you got the right one. There's a wild carrot called a Queen Anne's Lace. He's Daucus corota. The entire plant is edible, has hollow stems, but the stems are hairy, and there's no purple spots or blotches, but it might have purple streaks on it. There's another one called a cow's parsley, or wild chervil, and that's also edible, it's celery-like, 
and it's hairy, but it's never purple with little purple spots. So see the purple spots, it's a dead giveaway. You got this poison hemlock. There's not a lot of reported deaths, but most of them occur when people mistake this for wild parsley or cow's parsley or wild carrot. And the children use the hollow stems for straws or whistles. And the stems here, they can be poisonous up to three years after you pull it out. There's no antidote, so once you ingest this or get it in your lungs or something, you're kind of out of luck. To er eradicate this, you propagate by seeds, so if you kill it early in the first year, it should be okay. Or you spray it with a glyphosate compound like Roundup, and you pull up the entire root here, down there. Make sure you get the whole plant. But always look for those little purple spots in the hollow stems. And you've seen if you have poison hemlock, arconium maculatum, before you eat it. Anyway, I hope you liked that video. Have a great day. Bye.